at Progressive Classics. Uh, we're never afraid to take on a task here. Uh, classic Bobcat. I mean, it's not road legal, but it is going to be really good fun. Um, it'll probably end up on fire. Most things me and Steve touch does. Um, so yeah, this is it. If anyone knows what year this is from, um, let us know. It's got a problem with, Steve, what's wrong with it? Chain. Chain. And if you come around here, it's really hard to get to the chain. You yeah, don't have to cut holes in the side of the bodywork in order to get to it. So there's a pulley and a chain has come off. Can you get in there, Steve? Have a look. Mm. See, so yeah, this is our challenge. Um, uh, there's also a discovery that needs a clutch. Long story. So yeah, there's lots to come up coming up on uh, Brassic Classics. So uh, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Okay, right. So here we are in the Brassic Classics Workshop HQ. Um, the Citroen Ami 8 made it. It's in its new home. Um, there you go. That's it. There's all the parts. There's the car. Land Rover's going here. And that's the person that's going to put it back together. That's the person that's going to put it back together. Uh, this one has very good distractions on your series one Land Rover by 1973 Honda Mustang. Bend, you go around the bend, pull your leg in as close to the tank as you can, you'll see it's the handlebars. Easy rider. It's quite good fun, but I can't bend my leg enough to get it to actually go on the leg. <laughs> right, moving on from the last bit of welding I did on the Land Rover's oil filter housing. This is a good welder. It's not a gasless MIG, it's a gas MIG. It's probably about £2,000 worth of MIG. Um, and it's so much better to use, it's clean. Now, I've just done a little bit on this spade because it needed fixing. Just done that. It's just easy, it's so much easier. So, um, a bad workman actually can blame his tools, can I say? So I'm gonna do a little bit on this just to reinforce the back. And uh, yeah, it's just so much easier. But as I say, this is probably a 2,000 pound world of mines. clean up your work piece otherwise it makes a horrible horrible mess um, try and look dapper while you're doing welding it's always a big part of it and um, there you go oh and and buy a two thousand pound welder because um, it's much easier <laughs> anyway until next time when we decide to weld up something else completely pointless see you soon racing a 13 year old boy in his Range Rover